All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome on the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca. I am the chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee that are present today. We have Council Members Deutsch, Kuh, Landsman, Levin, Reynoso, Richards, Traeger, Gradenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera. I would like to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we'll be voting on projects referred out of both of our subcommittees. We will vote to approve LU's 500, an application by Madre Hospitality, Inc., DBA, Franklin Guest House, for a revocable consent to maintain, operate, and use an unenclosed sidewalk cafe at 214 Franklin Street in Councilmember Levin's district in Brooklyn. We will also vote to approve the modifications pre-considered LU's 479 and 480, the 273 Avenue U rezoning for property in Councilmember Traeger's district in Brooklyn. The applicant seeks approval of a zoning map amendment and related zoning text amendment to rezone the project area from the R5B to an R6A district and establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing MIH option two. These actions will facilitate the development of a new four-story mixed-use building with ground floor residential use and approximately nine dwelling units. Our modifications will be to remove MIH option two and to add MIH option one. We will be voting to approve pre-considered LUs 201-85509, SCQ, submitted by the New York City School Construction Authority for the site selection of a new approximately 306-seat pre-K center. The site is located within a portion of Flushing Meadow Corona Park and adjacent to the New York Hall of Science in Community School District 21 in Chair Moyas District in Queens. We will also vote to approve pre-considered LUC 190286A, HAK, the East New York North H NCP UDAP application. The application filed by the Department of Housing Preservation and Development is for designation of an urban development action area and an urban development action area project, as well for the disposition of properties located in 190 Essex Street, 227 Vermont, Street, 225 Vermont Street, 223 Vermont Street, 583 Belmont Avenue, and 581 Belmont Avenue. Approvals will facilitate the development of three-story buildings, providing 41 units of affordable housing on these projects in Councilmember Espinal's district in Brooklyn. We will also vote to approve LUs 477 and 478, the 201-207 7th Avenue project. The application filed by the Department of Housing, Preservation, and Development is for designation of an urban development action area and an urban development action area project, as well for the disposition of property located at 201-207 7th Avenue in the Speaker's District in Manhattan. In addition, a tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law is sought. Approvals will facilitate the development of a new nine-story mixed-use building with 26 affordable cooperative home ownership units, as well as retail space. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? I see none. I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees to approve LUs 477, 478, 500, and preconsiders LUs 201-85509, SCQ, and C190286A, HAK, and to approve with the modification I have described LUs 479 and 480. Will the clerk please call the roll? We Martin Committee Clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye or no? Deutsch. Aye. Ku. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Miller. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Richards. Aye. Traeger. Uh, Chair, permission to explain my vote briefly? Councilmember Traeger to explain his vote. Thank you, Chair. Uh, while I had many initial concerns with the application related to 273 Avenue U, including the fact that the applicant's proposed development falls below the unit and area threshold for MIH applicability, uh, through considerable dialogue with the applicant, I, a longstanding family from the neighborhood, I have obtained several written commitments which have mitigated my concerns. The applicant has pledged to voluntarily maintain below market rental rates for both existing commercial tenants and prospective residential tenants to ensure that gener general and, and, and subcontractors are MWBEs uh, to develop a local hiring plan in conjunction with the Coney Island Workforce One Center to pay building service workers fair wages with benefits and to provide streetscape and, and street safety improvements. Uh, at Per Community Board's 11's request, the applicant has committed to keeping the, the building to four stories, which will improve the existing streetscape, which, which is incongruous because of a non-zoning compliant building. 
Crucially, the applicant provided a letter of understanding between themselves and the operators of Joe's of Avenue U, an iconic Sicilian restaurant in Gravesend, which has, I think, the best rice bowls in New York City, to maintain the restaurant at its current location during construction to the greatest extent feasible, and to maintain the local location following construction. Colleagues, I respectfully uh, urge you to vote uh, to approve uh, items land use 479 and 480. I'd like to thank Chair Salamanca and Chair Moya, Rosa Kelly, uh, and, and uh, Arthur Herr from the land use staff, uh, and Anna Scaife, my chief of staff as well. Thank you very much. I vote aye. Gorenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye and all. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Permission to uh, briefly explain my vote? Chair Moya to explain his vote. Uh, thank you, uh, Chair Salamanca. Uh, my community has been one of the most overcrowded school districts in the entire city, and one of my primary focus have been to getting uh, kids the education that they deserve, and that's why I'm so proud to announce a 306-seat pre-K program uh, is coming to Corona, Queens. Uh, I'm very thankful to everyone who was involved in making this happen, uh, both on my behalf and on behalf of the parents in School District 24, uh, the first time that we will have a uh, STEM uh, pre-K uh, to uh, third grade coming uh, to the district and couldn't be prouder to uh, be supporting this. Uh, thank you, uh, Chair, for the uh, allowance to uh, explain my vote. I voted 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. All right, I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for three minutes. Pedro. Council member Levin. Aye on all. Doing, sir. Sure. 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 